celebrated being back in the Football League this week after winning at Woking. Chairman Eric Wally and the club will be awarded Freedom of the Borough later this year. Well into them, well it's now been confirmed through their hometown. Yesterday they were presented with the Nationwide Cup after their 2-1 home win against Tamworth, heralding their return to league football. Today the team will be on an open-top bus, followed by a civic reception at the Town Hall. Liverpool... They boarded an open-top bus for a parade around the town, followed by a civic reception. Tim Scott reports. It seemed like the whole town of Accrington had turned out for its team's victory parade this morning. Players and their families took over the top deck of the bus to enjoy the adulation after winning the Northern Conference League trophy and once again entering the big time. Accrington Stanley first began life in 1888. In fact, they were one of the first seven founding members of the English Football League and now, after an absence of 44 years, they're finally back in it. I think uh, a lot of people, certainly in Accrington, didn't expect us you know, to ever do it, but um, you know things do change and uh, we, you know, we've had a, a, a look this year and uh, good management from the, the manager and uh, the, his staff. Accrington Stanley, who are they? Exactly. For years, the club have been the butt of jokes after that infamous TV advert. But for the hundreds who turned up at the town hall today, that's all in the past. Accrington's family, who are they? They know who they are now. We've been uh, the butt of jokes for years since the milk advert. Now I think we can put that one to bed and get on with living the life of Accrington Stanley. Make the town big again, make it proud of us again. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Can't put it into words. You look, you look a bit choked up. I am a bit, yeah. It's a big achievement. Yes, there were even a few tears as well. It's been a great season for the club, perhaps their greatest ever. The players are now off for a well-earned rest in Portugal before their final game next weekend. After that, well, a summer of anticipation as life in the Football League beckons for Rackrington Stanley once more. Well, staying with football and Liverpool... Such as Accrington, 44 years after dropping out of the league, Accrington Stanley are back in the big time. And as Howard Booth reports, everyone in the town hopes it'll bring an end to four decades of being the butt of football jokes. Garth Dawson didn't realise it at the time, but in 1962 he recorded history. The freelance photographer was there as the doors were locked at Accrington Stanley and the club was wound up. It's like going to a... Uh an antique show you look at the things and think well i threw that away 20 years ago and it's now worth a fortune and the same thing with uh, football or same with negatives that uh, that i took at the time this might be the last you see of garth's photos because a new happier chapter in stanley's history begins tomorrow when the club returns to the football league the last 44 years i suppose for the certainly the people of accrington you know it's been kind of a, a butt joke for all the you know the people the comedians and everything but uh, you know uh, eventually after 44 years we've you know got the aim back and we're back into the football league but despite last year's runaway promotion back to the league the work to rebuild Stanley's reputation really starts tomorrow according to this man we'll all go down and this day as being the ones who so hacking and back into the football league but I don't want it to stop there I don't want to be remembered for the stopping there as you say, it's got to be a new beginning, and this has got to be the start of a chapter, not like the end um, of a story that's closed from last year. Stanley kick off the new campaign and their new chapter at Chester tomorrow. Howard Booth, North West Today. Well, we knew that they'd, they'd cause us problems from set players. We'd worked on that yesterday, and actually it's all the players that we're going to get fined who just got a back post header, and lo and behold, they do. Um, and, you know, for the first 20 minutes, give them the credit. They, they've done a job on us. They've had us watch. They were organised. And they played to their strengths, it went very long well, went, well, for the whole game, but it was effective for them for the first 20 minutes so we got to grips with it. After the first 20 minutes, when they, it was a bad hours, wasn't it? You know, and it, I think if we could have withstood that, I don't think we'd have had too many problems, and we didn't have any more problems until the penalty. Now back to the Premiership in the big story. Aston Villa started the Martin O'Neill era with a goalless draw against Hans. Baggedy, baggedy, baggedy. Let's go racing for Elsie. Look out! Oh, man! What a fantastic catch! Action of us were brought up with those milk adverts and their tagline, 
Here with they. But with their pro and that's the last time as a man can do a Scouse accent. But uh, with their promotion back to the Football League this season, the club are hoping to make a new name for themselves. We went to meet chairman Eric Wally on Monday as he prepared for Accrington's first home fixture in the Football League for 44 years. Well, here we are. This is Accrington Stanley Football Club. If you come in, I'll show you around. This is a seating area for 1,200 people. This was funded by the sale of Brett Omrod from Blackpool to Southampton. We had a salon close, and uh, virtually that's paid for all this stand here. This, this area here was meant to be uh, covered by the start of this season, but uh, Unfortunately, some people would say we're getting promotion to the football league. We've had to spend the money elsewhere, which, you know, turnstiles, segregation, toilets, CCTV, police control rooms, things like that. Which so the 200,000 it's cost us, which we're going to spend on covering this end. You know, it's been used up for other things. Yeah, this is what we call the Winnie Hill Terrace. There is room for about 1,500 visiting supporters. So, you know, uh, I would think if we've got 1,500, we'd be highly delighted because that's about the size of, of most of our gates last year. And to be honest, I'm now, so I'm not going... <laughs> I suppose like 44 years ago when they went out at Football League, they were having gates of, you know, four and 5,000, which present day for League, League Two would be, very, would, would be very good. You know, we are lucky that the name you know, just generate a little bit of interest because it's unusual, you know, who's ever heard of Accrington Stanley and, you know, the milk advert did us good and people mock at it, but I still think it's, uh, it's good because it kept us in the limelight. Now I'll just show you the away dressing room. Not your most uh, modern dressing room, but uh, quite adequate for, you know, the regulations for the Football League and, uh, um, to be quite honest, you know, I've seen a lot worse than this. It's not like it used to be. I mean, don't forget when Accrington went out of the Football League in 1962, you know, for a measly 63,000, which wouldn't buy you a good non-league player on the present day values. You know, the, the thing was that uh, they accepted Stanley's resignation and now, as soon as they go into administration, usually somebody comes along and bails them out. Pretty hell, it looks green, Anthony. Eh? Yeah. Well, is it wet? <sighs> so what are we going to do? Has he got... It's brilliant. Have you got uh, the other tractor? No. Well, really, I should go for my bloody haircut today. Uh, he's been close for a fortnight as, as they dresses, so... But, uh, you know, we might be a bit... We <laughs> might, might, might know our time today now. Morning, Martin. Yeah. You all right? Yeah. Hey. You can't fight match report. Yeah, no. I'm not really bothered after Saturday. <laughs> as busy as you at the minute. Yeah, it's a bit hectic. Disappointing Saturday, though. Played crap Saturday. Well, it's like new league, new season, bit of nerves, isn't it? Mm. Eric, can you pull the bags from Stokes and Pardon? We had a fax no. this morning from Stokes. No, I hope they're after buying somebody. Would you believe I'm filling the uh, the referee's report in from Saturday? Unfortunately, Secretary uh, good at making on Saturday. She was poorly, so um, yeah, it needs filling in today. In fact, looking at it, I'd better take it down and let, and let manager sign it. I'll just go and speak to the manager and... Can you just fill that form in for me, John? Competition, Coca-Cola League? Coca-Cola uh, League 2, is it? Yeah, Coca-Cola Division 2. Filled out? Yeah, filled out. 60, 75, 95. I don't think you get them kind of marks. And we got beat? Eh, hey, and we got beat. That 
were easily done, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good, yeah. This is our first team squad. You know, I think that, what is it, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, twenty. I didn't realise we were paying that, that many players. There's always been a good team spirit, you know, when John and Jimmy's done the, you know, because most of these lads are from Liverpool. I think we were about nine Scouses, you know, in the team, and um, they are very, very close, and um, they never shut, stuck for words. For your own good. If you want to cheat on yourselves, you want to do whatever you want, then just throw it. It ends up me the big thing now is not just not just getting back up, we've got to consolidate and make sure that we don't go straight back down. Even though consolidation is not a word I like, I think at the end of the day it's something that we have to be realistic about and, uh, you know, we're certainly going to have to do it. Right, well, I think that's the brief show around Accrington Stanley. And as you can see, we have an important game tomorrow and I'm sure that we'll give a, a lot of people there. And uh, good luck to everybody. Thank you. Now, unfortunately, they lost 2-0 to Darlington on Tuesday, so they're still pointless in League Two. But I tell you what, there is a fly-on-the-wall documentary to be made about that club. You had your head in your hands at least twice, Chris. Right. Well, I, you know, you're Manchester United, you're Chelsea. I'm Scunthorpe United. Scunthorpe United versus Accrington Stanley before they were relegated yeah. in, in... before they went out of the league in 62. Accrington Stanley back in the league, fantastic. Everybody, Wonderful. Has, a so everybody has a soft spot for them, yeah. don't they? Yeah. Everybody really does. I, I want to know where the other tractor was. <laughs> <laughs> where, where's it? What happened to the other tractor? <laughs> Come say? on, it's, well, we need to do a nationwide inquiry. Where's the tractor gone? <laughs> and, and, it, what did he um, say? Where? Have you got your tractor? He said, <laughs> no. <"Nope." laughs> <laughs> it's great. Oh, a bell of manager was very happy as well uh, uh, finding out the chairman thought they played crap in the first <laughs> game. Yeah, as well. yeah. <laughs> Another side to the game, isn't it? Oh, it's brilliant. It's a game all, you know. I, I mean, I think it's very important. I, I stand up for the lower side of the game, if, we, if that's the right way to describe it. And, it, you know, the, the Premiership is fantastic. It's a fantastic product. But it was a split of the football family when that came into being. Yeah, yeah and that is proper football. Accrington will be hoping to get off the mark in League 2 this Saturday when they host Barnet. And here's the pick of the rest of this weekend's fixtures from Leagues 1 and 2 and the Royal Bank of Scotland Premier League. by Accrington Stanley. For so long, the butt of jokes. Who are they? Went the famous advert. Well, everyone knows now. Accrington Stanley have beaten Nottingham Forest. First half with a few chances. Guy Roberts shooting straight to keeper Paul Smith. Accrington took the lead on the hour. Paul Mullins' shot took a big deflection off Danny Killip give him his first goal of the season. The Forrest then piled on the pressure. This Gary Holt volley kept out by keeper Ian Dunbaron. Forrest again came close in the final minutes. Neil Harris' header blocked on the line by Dunbaron. But Atkinson held on against the 1979 European champions for a famous win. But a lot of their players won't have played this season and won't have played together. You know, they might have only played reserve football. So it's a little bit of a big ask you know, to get them all to gel at once. Once they brought the big guns on, you know, they brought three of the first team regulars on. You know, they were a handful for us and you know, we had to stand firm. You know, a little bit of luck along the way in the keeper's legs, but you know, we could have had a couple ourselves. We've played in the second half, we didn't particularly play in the first. And Accrington, have, uh, they've got the goal in, in, in the period where we're, we're doing better. That's the way it goes sometimes. It's more important to me what, how we go from here on. You know, tonight we battled and battled away. We didn't really impose ourselves in the first half. Second half we did a bit better. But through that period we conceded a goal. So, you know, sometimes you just got to sit and take it in the chin. St Helens swept the board in 2006, winning the Challenge Cup, the Premiership and the Grand Final treble. Everything's fine. I'm stupidly happy. It was a dream year for Accrington Stanley. John Coleman's side won the Nationwide Conference to regain their Football League status for the first time since going out of business in 1962. 
stupidly happy. Sale Sharks finished top of the table and underlined their position as the best rugby union team in the country by beating Leicester in the Guinness Premiership final. And the winner is Sale Sharks!